Hey guys, welcome back to V Vlogs. My hair is still drying, I had a shower this morning. We are on our way to my parents' house and Mandy is going to meet us there in about 45 minutes because we are saying goodbye to Dozer. I don't wanna cry. He's really old now, you know, he's almost 12. And he's had a lot of health issues the past year especially, like he can't really walk anymore, he's in a lot of pain, all of his bones, he has arthritis really badly in all of his bones. He's really weak, he can't control going to the bathroom anymore, he's confused, he's lost his hearing, he's not doing very well. So about a month or two ago my dad brought him to the vet and they were saying that it's time. So today is Saturday, December 19th, and on Monday he's being put down. So Ty and I live really far now, and so today made the most sense for us to go and see him and say goodbye. I was thinking about being there on Monday when it happens because a vet will come into your house. And they'll do it there so that, you know, he's in the comfort of his own home and everything. But I don't know if I can emotionally be there for that. Like, I really wanted to, but I think it would just affect me too much. Like, seeing him close his eyes and, like, leaving us. Like, I don't think I could be there. It would just be too hard. So I think we're going to go today and say our goodbyes. I wrote him a little something that I'm going to read him. And I'll be there with Mandy. So this is one of the hardest things ever. And we just wanted to document it. Because I know, like... Especially you guys who have been here since I first started YouTube. He was in all of my vlogs. I talked about him all the time So you guys have sort of been with us in his life as well So I wanted to let you guys know what's happening. I also know that the past few years since Ty and I moved in together and you know left my parents house and got our own house and stuff you guys have been asking like where's Dozer been like we don't see Dozer anymore do you still care about Dozer of course guys if I could have taken him with me I would have but he is my parents dog you know he also he's, hates car rides he hates car rides we live really far but he's ultimately my dad's dog I always say but he's been our family dog so he stays in our family home no matter where we go in life so that's why you know we don't see him as much but whenever we go to my parents house we always make sure to vlog him a little bit and to obviously see him and spend time with him so yeah he's been around my whole life it feels like I mean 12 years is a long time so we're gonna go there and say goodbye and he's probably gonna have no idea what's happening or why we're sad but I hope in some way he understands that we love him and we're gonna miss him so yeah we will see you guys at the house to my sweet dozer you are truly a one-of-a-kind dog the kindest and the friendliest everyone that's ever met you has fallen in love with you even people who are afraid of dogs or don't like dogs they always love you you've always been there for me by my side through all of my phases all of my sicknesses all of my heartbreaks all of my successes and failures there was never a time when I needed you that you weren't there for me to hug and cry into your fur. I'm going to miss looking into my childhood bedroom mirror and not seeing you sitting leaning on my bed staring back at me. I'm going to miss the vibrations throughout the house when you snore. I'm going to miss your pathetic cries for dad when you're ready to eat dinner or come inside. I feel bad for all the dogs that come after you, Dozer, as you were the perfect first dog. There's a lot to live up to. You've set the bar so high. I want to say thank you for the laughs over the years. You've made your family so proud. You're the goodest boy that ever was and ever will be. I hope and pray that we have provided you with the most loving, fun, and fulfilling life. This is a temporary goodbye. We'll be, we will see each other again. You're going to be surrounded with all the chicken, toys, and playmates you could ever want and need soon. I love you forever, Dozer. I love your sister, Mandy. Dozer, where do I even start? You've been through it all with me. I first met you when I started high school, which were some of the worst years of my life. You sat beside me the days that I was crying and the days that I was laughing. You've seen all my heartbreaks and my successes. You've quite literally met all of the important people that I have ever had in my life. 
You watched me go to college, you watched me fall in love, you watched me get sick with Lyme disease and slept beside me in my room when I didn't have enough strength to get out of bed. You saw me start YouTube and you would look at me strangely as I sat in my bedroom telling crazy stories. You watched as I brought Winnie home for the first time and I know you weren't thrilled about it at first, but after a few months we always caught you guys snuggling and snoring in unison. You saw me buy my first house and my first car. You watched me meet Ty and you saw us get married. You've seen everything. You've been a constant happiness growing up. You've been a part of our family forever. And I can't believe you're gonna be gone. But we love you so much, Dover. I'm gonna miss you. He's probably freezing. Yeah. <laughs>